Hi, I'm Ryan Briggs, I'm a Scottish Butcher Club ambassador this year and today I'm going to be showing you a few different products that we make. Starting off with, we're going to make a lamb dora kebab using some local Scotch lamb reared here in the Scottish borders and bought by myself at the local market in St Boswell's. And we're going to mix that up with our Moroccan mixture of spices and we've got a wee bit of breadcrumbs through there just to kind of keep the flavours in there, catch the fat when you're cooking it. The big thing for me, for my customers, is that we're all eating the best of quality and local stuff. Food miles is a big thing that we watch. Everything that I buy is from the Scottish borders and 99% is reared by farmers that I know personally or have met through the mark. The next stage is just to split your meat, so I've got enough here for two proper donors. We've got a garlic and herb sauce that we're just going to glaze it in. And then we're going to finish it off with some crushed chilies on top. Presentation is one of the biggest things. If a product looks good, it's going to sell. That's Scotch lamb, PGI, breaks his proper donor kebab. So now we're going to be making our own breakfast burgers. It, they're made using specially selected pork from Tommy Wilkinson at Stubbs Farm just outside of Oik. We're using our own sausage mix here. This is our hog roast which is made with apple, red onion and we're going to add some sage into this and we're going to give it a few twists of crap black pepper just for that little bit of bite. A thorough mix through just to make sure the seasoning is right the way through it. And it's two scoops of each which you're getting burgers that are approximately 180 grams so they're about 6 ounce burgers so you get a nice thick juicy burger there. Just with a press there, four inch press, a couple of nice presses through, a scraper to take them off the table, and there you have it. Specially selected pork breakfast burgers made with local pork from Stops just outside of Hoyt. Pork, sage, red onion, and apple. Lovely. So here we've got some local Scotch beef PGI D-Rum, also known as frying steak in the shop. It's really nice lean beef. It was 580 kilos bought on the hoof from Gospel Hall and is only two miles away from the shop. It's important for the recipe that all our beef is cut to the same size just for ease of cooking really. And we're gonna give it a mix up just so it's even right the way through. Most of our pies do have this seasoning, it's a wee bit of a secret, but salt and pepper are the main base of it. We're going to add our Guinness paste. The Guinness glaze is going to go into a gravy consistency, so you're going to have a nice moist pasty. So we're just going to put a scoop of each into the pastry, and we're going to fold it across, keeping the whole content in there, and sealing it with our thumbs. And there you have it, Scottish beef, PGI, Guinness and beef pasties.